NCAA Stadium here in Ruston houses the spirit of 88, a bronze Bulldog statue that honors the school's final 1AA team that played a 1A schedule. And during the games, that bronze statue is guarded by the University Air Force ROTC Valkyrie Honor Guard. You're not getting anywhere near it. This coin toss presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Louisiana Tech is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Steps out of bounds at the 28-yard line. That's a game of three That'll make it second and seven. Just throws this one away. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 28. He throws left. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. Fires quick. He's got another one. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. He's in trouble. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Smith gets him about three yards with a completion. Everett is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. Talk about a booming punt. My goodness. Again, it's about stressing special teams. That is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game. And they get the safety. What an effort by the defense, and they move ahead. You get the lead, you get the ball back, and now you've also got momentum on your side. I'd say that's a pretty enormous play. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Five wide. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 42. Southern Miss is up two. He goes out of bounds, right around the 50. Gain of eight on the play. Get out, get out. The ball, That'll the ball, bring up third and two. <laughs> Scrambling around, and they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. Veal, the return man. He takes it in at the 14. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. 
It was a pretty disastrous last possession that ended in a safety. Let's see if they can improve on that. Defenses get a big boost when they can score a safety. So expect to see these guys flying to the ball in this possession, too. Quick strike to the receiver. And he shoved out of bounds at the 37. around the 45-yard line. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball, and it got him a first down. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brent, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. He's on the run. He's hit and got away. And he's sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Second down and 12. Ball on the 46. Zips it to the back. They'll drop him for a loss. That's a seven-yard loss. So that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. I'm, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Tries to thread the needle. It's picked off. And down he goes at midfield. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From the 50, first down. Southern Miss holds just a two-point lead. They'll bring him down around the 48-yard line. Second and eight. Tackle around the 37 yard line. Roberson brings him down the 37 yard line. First down. He's knocked out of bounds at the 18. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. He fires. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. Trying to go up by two scores. They line up for the extra point. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 50-yard drive. And the result, seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's taken down at the 43. Golden Eagles are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. He gets rid of this one. 
Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Throws in the middle. He's taken down at the 49. Gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and four. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the 47 yard line. Number 19 with the tackle at the 47 yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field and he led a great drive last time out. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 24. Makes the tackle at the 24-yard line. That makes it second and six. Got it and brought down immediately. Call it a gain of five yards. Let's go, let's go, fellas, let's go. That'll make it third and one. Tailback with a catch, and up for the first. Brought down to the 38-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. It's second and ten. Ball on the 38. Quickly, and he's got his man, and they push him out around the 44-yard line. Third down. And he's hit immediately. Call it a gain of seven yards. First down. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. He scrambled, and they get the sack. And it was the defensive lineman that was able to make the play. And the defense came up with some pressure there with a blitz. The quarterback wasn't able to get rid of it, and the result, of course, is a sack. This is the ninth play of this drive. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. On the ball, on the ball. Make it third and nine. throw out to the receiver incomplete so it's fourth down they'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt kicks up so the junior kicker isn't able to put it through so we'll change possession with a score nine nothing southern miss It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Under pressure, and he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Oh, 
So the sack makes this third and very long. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they make the stop at the 37-yard line. Gain of six yards. That'll make it fourth and ten. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. tries to buy some time and he's taken down around the 50 yard line that's good for a game of 17 yards that makes it first and 10 and he just gets rid of it second down 10 to go ball on the 50 yard line Rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Pressure counting, and the ball is loose. It's scooped up, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. to the sack it's now fourth and long Everett to punt and down he goes at the 20 the Golden Eagles are looking downright scary on defense so far Herbie they are flying around as a group right now completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play the defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. And he hits him hard at the 41. the call. Tackled after a decent pickup. A gain of about four yards on the draw. That makes it second and six. And down he goes at the 40-yard line. That'll bring it in to the first quarter of action. 9-0 Southern Miss. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Right, right, Roger, Roger. Four down, four down. Here we go. I got eight. I got eight. eight. <laughs> got a man. Watch out here. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. kept it himself and created the whole thing with his feet. Boy, was that fun to watch or what? He splits the uprights with the extra point. Barnes 
has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Southern Miss with a two-point advantage. He's got an opening. He makes his way to about the 45. Game of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Sets up the screen, tailback's got it. Knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. That's a gain of seven on the play. That makes it third and three. Caught open field, and he is drilled at the 38. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Squares it out to the right to the halfback. Tackle at the 37. From the 37 yard line. Second down. He's taken down at the 33. That's a gain of four on the ball. That'll bring up third and four. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's tackled around the 28 yard line. That's a gain of five on the play. Ball on the ball on the ball. First down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Tough throw on the run and caught. And he's tackled at the 20-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. No huddle, no huddle. That brings up second and one. They come out in a five-wide set. He lost the ball. The offense falls on it. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Golden Eagles had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Southern Miss is up two. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. They'll knock him down for a loss. That makes it fourth and one. Kicks away, and it's good! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. Right everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. Second and three. Caught, and he steps out of bounds. Oliver picks them up about five yards on that pass play, and that one will move the sticks. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. And 
they got to him before he could get back to the line. Loss of three yards on the play. Third down. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 38-yard line. Under heavy pressure on the throw. Incomplete pass. Number nine, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. Steps out of bounds around the 21-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. He's tackled right away. Lewis makes the tackle at the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Call it a gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. Catches it and he's looking for more. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Throws it to the outside. Robertson makes the reception. That's a game of 32 on the play. First down. They come out on an empty backfield. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Gain of five on the play. We gotta move quick. We gotta that move brings quick up right second here. and five. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They bring him down in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That makes it third and seven. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Quick throw. Brought down around the 11 yard line. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. He gets it up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 27. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Personal foul. Clipping. Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach down. fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. scrambling and they bring him down for a sack on the play that's a loss of three yards on the play that brings up second and 13 so it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack the 
spotted, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Number seven on the tackle at the nine-yard line. That brings up third and 14. And he's sacked. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnovers. Fourth and long here after the sack. This is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're gonna try to get to this one. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. Return for a gain of 18 yards. So the offense will come out onto the field to take over once again. They got three points on their last drive, but with this kind of field position, they should be looking to get the ball into the end zone. Makes the grab and steps out right away. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First and 10, ball on the 12-yard line. Southern miss, up by eight. And they got him for a loss. Well, these days, you've got safeties playing up close to the line of scrimmage, almost like a fourth linebacker. The only way that you can keep them from cheating up is to take some chances downfield. Catches it, and that's all. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and four. Throws! Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 29-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Steps out at the 31. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. And he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. Louisiana Tech just took their first time out from their own 44-yard line. It's second down. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. And they make the stop at the 46-yard line. The Golden Eagles are going to call their second timeout. That'll bring up fourth and five. And 
down he goes at the 16-yard line. Golden Eagles are sitting pretty now after getting off of that slow start at the beginning. Yeah, things were a little sluggish early, but my gosh, these last few series, they just seem to be, at this point, just kind of setting a tone and kind of having their way against this defense. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. First down. From their own 28-yard line. First down. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. They don't have enough time to play dink and dunk football like this. They need to move the ball and do it quickly. Well, we've played a half of football. The Golden Eagles in front by 15. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Paper, plastic, or cloth, sacks by any material you want. An extravaganza. Defensive linemen living in the opposing backfield. I mean, that... That, that almost brought a tear to your eye in the first half. Right in my wheelhouse, baby. It was nice to see. It's nice to see, uh, you know, big, sloppy defensive linemen getting in there, making big plays. And you know what my favorite part about the sacks are? What's that? You get a little wiggle at the end. You know, you get to get up and they get a little celebration. They get to, you know, doing a little bit of it. They can't do too much because they'll get a no flag, penalty. But you just get a little bit of shake and a little bit of celebration. It's fun to see those big guys making a big impact. You want to change that rule, don't you? You want the, you want the sloppy D lineman to dance. Absolutely. The more celebrations by big sloppy guys, the better. Ooh, belly dance. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. Deep to return. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Golden Eagles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That'll bring up second and three. Gets the call, and down he goes at the 34-yard line. Two yards. That'll make it third and one. They'll get him for a loss. Call it a loss of three yards on the play. Fourth down. And he just got drilled. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Robertson's the intended receiver on the play. That makes it from their own 30-yard line. It's second down. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense.
So the sack makes this third and very long. Throwing left. They can't connect. Incomplete. Number 15, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Veal is back deep to return the punt. He makes it to the 45-yard line. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. The defender had it and then dropped it. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. Put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Tackle made around the 42-yard line. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Watts was the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. All on the 42. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, they get it right after the review. They call it a catch, and play will continue. had their way with the defense there. Terrific play. And he tacks on the extra point with a three-play, 36-yard drive and a touchdown as a result. Barnes looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Southern Miss holds an eight-point advantage. Makes the catch and look out. And they push him out at the 27-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Seven on the play. The ball, the ball, the ball. Third down. Short pass, middle of the field. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. A gain of four yards. That makes it first and ten. run there that's a gain of five on the play that brings up second and five there are five wide receivers split out the quarterback in the gun makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go gain of three yards that'll bring up third and two good open field tackle Gain of seven yards. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. And he's tackled at the 34. The tackle. That's a gain of 13 on the play. First down. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Southern Miss is up by eight. 
The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way Still to stall down. out a drive. From the 30-yard line, second down. Almost picked off. Here's play number 10 on the drive. They'll bring him down at about the 23-yard line. Makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's tackled around the 15-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. That's his third touchdown pass of the game. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 26-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Keep 15, keep 15. That makes it second and 10. Just like that. Caught, open field, Oliver. Gained six yards with a short completion. That'll bring up third and four. Going deep. And he hits him hard at the 31-yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Game of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at the 24-yard line. Number 26 brings him down at the 24-yard line. That makes it third and three. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. From the 20-yard line, it's first down. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. A loss of four on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. Here's the eighth play of the series. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That is a loss of four yards. That brings up second and goal. Tenth play of the drive. To the end zone, 
This guy is mostly used to stop to run, but here he showed that he's not too bad against the pass either. It's third down, and they come up to the line about nine yards away from the end zone. Got the corner. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Armstrong with the tackle at the six-yard line. That brings up fourth and goal. Kicks up, and it's good. Barnes has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Oh, he's obviously come in here with a plan. He knows what he wants to do, and he's just getting the job done. You go back and you look at some of these plays, and my gosh, this guy's doing it all. He's avoiding the pressure, number one. He's making great decisions. He sees the whole field, and he's just making it look effortless overall. And to be racking up the stats and have the lead on the road, it's doubly impressive. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. Call it a gain of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Pressured and brought down. Loss of seven yards on the play. Second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Pulls it in and stops in his tracks with that tackle. First man incomplete. Jones is the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and 15. Everett is the punter. Neal <laughs> takes it to 25. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Out of bounds, around the 36-yard line. Tack on any yardage. Number 26 makes the tackle at the 41 yard line. Third down. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 45. to buy some time. Diving for extra yardage. Catches it, and he's taken down at the 19-yard line. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play action, uh, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at, but make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. Watched out, and he's going to get sacked. Call it a loss of five yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. Second and long. 
Ball on the 24-yard line. The Bulldogs wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. He's into the open field. Inside the 10. He's out of bounds at the 3. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A nice eight-play, 67-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For Louisiana Tech, they're having success rushing the passer tonight. This aggressive defense has enjoyed multiple sacks tonight. This is a good time for the defense to do even more damage. And I'm sure the crowd will be looking to help them out. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Fires out to his wideout. And they make the stop around the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. Points galore through three. An action-packed fourth quarter is on deck. Golden Eagles lead is five. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Under pressure, and he is drilled at the 26. That's a loss of seven yards. From their own 26-yard line, third down. He gets sacked on the play. Loss of 10 yards on the play. Fourth down. Everett awaits the snap. Brought down at the 50. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Pressure coming. And down he goes around the 44-yard line. Smith gets six yards after taking it himself. That'll make it second and four. On the throw, incomplete pass. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. made at the 37. Throws it into coverage and it's intercepted. He might have a chance. He's at the 30 to the 10. And a huge touchdown play. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. And he adds the extra point. Southern Miss gets set to kick this one away. 
And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the of mistakes. And he's hit immediately. He has some room. He makes his way to about the 48. Can this offense do anything to slow down this defense? Well, they need to start keeping their backs in to help out in blocking. The quarterback is getting pounded back there. So the sack makes this a second and long. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires out to his receiver, and he's level at the 45-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he tackles him hard at the 50-yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Receiver brought down before he can get there. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Gets it out quickly. Tackle at the 48. Spencer brings him down at the 48-yard line. That makes it second and six. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Quick pass. And he's tackled at the 39. Lewis makes the tackle at the 39 yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's got it out to his tight end. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Can ship with the tackle man, man, man. at the 34-yard line. Watch the run, watch the run. That brings up second and five. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and five. From the 34-yard line, third down. to the wide out and he can't pull it in. Roberts is the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. It's up. No good. He missed it to the left. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. run up the middle. That's a game of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. Hey, let's get down. And he's immediately tackled. He's going on the tackle. That'll move the chance for another Louisiana tackle. First down. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. You won't get the ball. And they'll bring him down at the 45. That is a loss of four yards. Third down. 
from the 45-yard line. It's third down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's going to try and scramble. him out at the 40-yard line. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. He's scrambling, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. That'll make it second and one. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He rifles it to the left. And he's tackled right away. That's a game of 27 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Nice gain as he works the right side. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Gets out to about the 17-yard line. Louisiana Tech is going to use their first time out of the half here. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17. Brought down around the 9-yard line. Louisiana Tech will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Makes it out to about the eight yard line. The Bulldogs using their third and last timeout. <laughs> Up the middle for a nice game. Gain of six yards. That makes it first and goal. Over the middle, touchdown. And that connection through the air should be the nail in the coffin. And he converts the extra point. Southern Miss, ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Aaron and out long. Throws it away. 
They're at the seven. Second down. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the four-yard line. A gain of three yards. That makes it 30 goal. He just gets rid of it. We're down to just a minute in this game. Roger, Roger. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. I got him, I got him. Here. No. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. So he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth. And I'm sure they're happy with the result. He makes the PAT. Down he goes at the 43. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Under a minute left in the game. He'll go down to one knee. From the 45-yard line, second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Well, the offensive guns were ablaze all day, and it came down to who had one more shot. Southern Miss, 43, Louisiana Tech, 31. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Well, this was shaping up to be a really close game, but they did what they had to do, made some big plays, and were able to pull away. Southern Miss had a really tough matchup coming in, but they were prepared, motivated, and came away with a really solid win. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.